guys, here we are at the Cape Town International Airport, about to jump on the plane and fly to Joburg as we continue the search for the Tizitone Kitchen of the Year. Well, after a two hour flight, we finally arrived in Joburg. We just got off the car train and I'm looking forward to being in the city of gold. How's it going? I'm really excited. This is our visit to our next set of finalists in the competition. Lady of the House, Mopo Majola, and her designer, Shiku Kiari of Sterlings, are waiting for us right now. We're here and we're really excited to meet the next finalists in the competition. But before we say hi to them, let's hear from Brad as he tells us what they think about this kitchen. It's always refreshing to see an almost white kitchen. And what I love about this kitchen is very clean, obviously high maintenance, but the elements of it, you can see that the craftsmanship is excellent. You must be my call. So Mrs. Majola, this is a renovated kitchen. Tell me, how was that process for you? Was it really tough? I have to say that the renovations are always difficult. They interrupt your life. Everything takes longer than it should. And often things don't go according to plan. Mrs. Majola gave me a very clear brief when we started designing their kitchen. They were very clear that they wanted a modern white kitchen that incorporated long, clean lines. Now tell me, what are some of the latest trends that you've incorporated into your design? That was the best part of the design process for me. Come, let me show you. This is the feature wall in the kitchen. So this is a wall you see when you first get into the kitchen. It appears to float off the ground with the use of the LED at the bottom, which was also quite intentional in the design. And then we've framed the island as well with the legs of the Caesar stone going down to the bits. We do not use handles on the island, just to keep with that very slick modern look. We've also included gas unit and an extract at the top, which is a feature. The island is in scissor stone white shimmer, which is my favorite scissor stone. I like it because it has the speckles, you know, small diamond-like speckles. So when the lights come in, it seems to shimmer. <laughs> in keeping with the whole no handles push-pull to open, we have ovens that you push-pull to open. I'll show you an example. Here we've played around with the heights of the units as well, so we don't have your normal 700 high unit, but we have this long opening unit, flip to open, but it gives it a very nice play with the height, and we can always use this space here for display as well. When you walked into your brand new kitchen and you saw it for the first time, how did you feel? We just loved it. It was just what we wanted. There was nothing to distract the eye, and we especially loved the fact that there were no handles on any of the cupboards. Everything was clean and modern. So what I love about this kitchen is that with all this white, it forces you to be neat. And you're a neat freak, Liz. I am indeed. So this kitchen would be right up there with my favorites. So you could tell us when you got the phone call that you were a finalist, how did you feel? It was a fantastic phone call. I, I was pleasantly surprised. And what do you think it's going to do for you? As a designer, you want to be recognized for the work that you've done. And if it's a good job, I think it's always the first step to pick down many things. Well, we think it's a great job, Dan. And you've certainly done wonderful work here. Yeah. Thank you. So, Howie, which wine have you brought for us? I've brought along the Waterford Sauvignon Blanc all the way from the Western Cape. We thought this kitchen being our first in Johannesburg, it would be a great treat to bring a bit of Stellenbosch. Thank you. Yeah. <laughs> Time to celebrate. Yeah, let's have a toast. Well, Howie, there certainly were some winning design elements in that kitchen. I must agree, I think they had something special going for them. But who knows? In the meantime, you guys can stay up to date with us via Facebook, Pinterest, Instagram and Twitter and the Caesar Stone South Africa. Loads of photos and articles to keep you up to date. And of course, if you've missed any of our previous episodes covering the finalists of this competition, go and check out our Caesar Stone South Africa YouTube channel. Loads to get involved with until we see you next week. Bye for now. Mm -hmm.